Today in this video I'm going to show you how to solve your PC RAN into a problem and needs to restart, will restart for you. Sometimes when booting your Windows 10, you see a blue screen which tells that your PC RAN into a problem and needs to restart. If you try to reboot again, the same screen. This issue is called BSOD means blue screen error of death. The full error message can be your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart. Will restart for you error code is inaccessible boot device. So how to fix this problem? Most of the time, the inaccessible boot device error occurs because a boot device has failed or is unreadable. During input output, IOA initialization the boot device driver might not have been able to initialize the boot device, which is a hard driver SSD, perhaps even one of the best SSDs. Now you have to restart the computer or turn on the computer, and after the computer is turned on simply go to BIOS settings and press F2 or Dell button to go to BIOS settings. Undo BIOS changes. If you've reset boot order or drive priority improperly, restoring previous settings will usually set things right. This stop code may pop up, for example, when changing controller mode from legacy to AHCI or from RAID to AHCI in the BIOS. Once you enter BIOS settings, then go to the advanced section. Then if fast BIOS mode is disabled then enable it. And if you have enabled, you don't have to do anything. Then go to AHCI mode control and be sure to set it to auto if manual is selected. Many laptops or computers need to see different BIOS settings, so I will show you how to go to AHCI mode or change at other computer or laptop. So follow me. Immediately go to the BIOS menu by pressing F2 or F12 key. On your keyboard. When the BIOS menu appears, go to the advanced menu. Then go to storage configuration. Many computer BIOS menus will show SATA configuration or IDE configuration. After entering the storage configuration, the SATA controller must be enabled. Then go to SATA mode selection and enter. You will see that there are two modes in SATA mode selection. One is IDE and the other is AHCI. You can select any one. I had previously selected IDE mode, so I will now select AHCI mode. But if you had previously selected AHCI mode, you would have selected IDE mode. I will select AHCI mode. Now you can simply save the BIOS settings by pressing F10 key on the keyboard. After making these settings, save the BIOS settings. To save the BIOS settings, press F10. On the keyboard, if the system is turned on after restarting the computer, then there is no problem in that case if not boot then go to BIOS settings again. Then you go to simply boot section, and after going to boot section go to secure boot option, go to secure boot options and enable it if it is disabled first and save the BIOS settings. By pressing F10 keyboard and your system will restart if the system is started. If the system is not turned on, disable the secure boot option and select OS mode UEFI and CSMOS and save the BIOS settings by pressing F10 keyboard and your system will restart it. One more thing you can do before saving BIOS settings is BIOS reset default settings. To reset the BIOS settings, first go to the exit menu bar. Then go to exit menu then go to load default setup and press enter on keyboard and press the yes button. Thereafter save the BIOS settings by pressing F10 key on the keyboard. After restarting the computer, the computer will start running without any problem. If this method you do not work something else your Windows has a problem, the solutions. Reset Windows factory or install Windows again. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.